Hello friends, hi, Swarab here once again. So in this video, I will explain you different techniques of converting a plain text message to a <coughs> encrypted text. Since we already learned in an earlier video what is cryptography, we will see different techniques how to achieve it. Now what is a plain text? First let us know that a plain text that it is a text that is known to us that is readable to humans that means we can understand any language which we are communicating that is a plain text a language which we can understand and what is an encrypted text it is a text a language or a written document in which the plain text has changed its form a form which we cannot read it we cannot understand it that is an encrypted text to achieve so, there are two techniques which are being used. Now very important techniques, first technique is a substitution technique and another is transposition. That means substituting a plain text to make it an encrypted text and transpositioning a plain text to make it an encrypted text. I have already told you something about Julius Caesar the king who used to send his messages from one source to another destination by encrypting them. He used to follow a substitution technique. Now let me just tell you in brief what this technique is. A substitution technique is a technique wherein you are substituting one element with another. That means in our alphabet from A to Z I will substitute all the characters to some other character. That means for example, I am substituting A with B, I am substituting B with C, I am substituting C with D and so further. So that means I am changing or I am replacing one character with some other character. That is a substitution technique. This was a very common and a easiest way to achieve encryption. For example, if Julius Caesar has to send some message from his end to another king so that a person can call for some help during a war time, then he would simply convert a message that please come and save me. Instead of please come and save me, he would write or he would change each and every character with some other character. That means in a word please, P would be replaced by A. L would be replaced by B or so further. You could replace each and every character with some other character. And this combination is very much known to the recipient. The recipient of the message, that person know that what is, is replaced by what. That means he would have an algorithm or he would know that whether A is replaced by B or B is replaced by C. That method has been already told to that person. Very easy. A uh, Julius Caesar had first started with one of the algorithm wherein he used to simply add one character with another. That means he used to simply convert A to B, B to C, C to D. Very simple. Or else at the max he would do that he would shift the place of A to C. That means he is shifting one place ahead or he would shift three places ahead or he could shift four places ahead. This was the technique used by him. That means if A is replaced by C, then definitely B would again replace by D and so further it should go on. Now that was one substitution technique, very interesting one. Now <clears throat> another technique is a transpositioning technique. In this technique you don't substitute, you don't change one character with another character. But instead, in this technique, you would simply transposition. That means you would jumble up. That means if you say, my name is Sorab, that means it is S-O-H-R-A-P. I would simply transposition all my characters here and there. Instead of S-O-H-R-A-B, I, I might say the first character would be O, second would be S, third would be B, and then so further. 
I am transpositioning this my whole name. That means the characters would re remain the same. Only position has been changed. And that means the answer is inside the question only. That is the another technique. Now substitution technique is been used in couple of ciphers which are listed in front of the screen. First one and the very known that was Caesar cipher. And then it came modified version of it. Then you had monoalphabetic, homophonic, polygram, polyalphabetic and so many, many other ciphers. We'll be learning these ciphers ahead in our other tutorials. Here is just an example on the screen for Caesar cipher. Now algorithm to break the Caesar cipher. Very important part, the Caesar cipher technique was not so successful because it was much easier to break it. That means if I am replacing one character with another character, at the max I can replace one character with some other character which, which is there inside an alphabet. That means there are at the max 25 possible combination for a character. That means A is replaced by B, C, D till Z. So A can be replaced by any of the character from B to Z. So I can have very easily, it would take me hardly a couple of time to figure out that A is replaced by what. So if in case I have received a message which is completely encrypted, all I have to simply do is, I have to simply convert that message from non-readable to readable by simply replacing it. So I have to make a to set of 25 different combinations and those one of the combination will get me my result. On the screen I am giving you one encrypted text. Take your time, see what you get. Thank you.